Good afternoon, good evening, or good morning. My name is Bora Pavicevic, and this is my program called Bora Bora. Today, we are going to see my report on exhibition in Osterkerk, organized by Stichting Home for Peace and Nonviolence, organization led by Mefrao Nives Rebernak, the woman who helped very many people from Croatia, Serbia and Bosnia since the war began there. Every now and then she is organizing this exhibition which serves as a platform for different contacts between people from all those countries as well as showing the Dutch society the achievement of artists from those countries. We saw a performance from Ira Pritza, my artist from Croatia, living and studying now here in Amsterdam. We spoke to her.
We are talking to, to Ira Pritza, who just performed some piece. So Ira, what was this all about? Uh, yeah, this is the, just my improvisation, based actually on the space of the church, or actually just this few stairs we have. Just started from nothing, or did you have any plan? Uh, no, generally I, I saw this place just uh, twice. I had like 20 minutes to get some ideas, so I used it. I brought, uh, had some, some costumes, and that was about it. You just set it up? Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't help myself like thinking, like looking those hands, just um, yeah, yeah. with all those gestures, like um, reminding me of, of um, all kind of um, speakers. our speakers <laughs> and um, trying to get attention, especially now before the election. So. Was it anything like that in your head? Or? Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. You cannot avoid it. Yeah, I, I, I can't avoid it. I mean, this is, this is my background. That's Where are you coming from? I'm coming from Croatia. I'm coming from uh, Rijeka, city of Rijeka. Um, that's from coast. Beautiful. How, oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> how long you are away? Uh, you mean how long I'm here? How long you are away from Croatia? Yeah, I'm uh, away like three and a half years. Already I'm studying here uh, mine in a Hochschule von der Kunst mm -hmm. and um, yeah, but by that time I'm, I'm here, I'm studying here. What was the reason that you left Croatia? What do you think? Hmm. The, it's uh, two reasons. One reason was that I was fed up with uh, politics, with uh, social situation, with art, situation in art and uh, because the second reason is the school because I wanted to study something which is not existing in Croatia we have only one uh, academy and uh, yeah it's not what I want actually <laughs> so you come here was it difficult for you to get uh, into the system no, it's Dutch not easy <laughs> it's never easy it's just the differences differences in the cultures I mean but uh, generally I feel no really kind of home here much more than um, then I thought I, w uh, I will have that feeling, and uh, of course in Rijeka, uh, I was just a few months, a few weeks there, and uh, it's already getting to be my <laughs> my kind of holidays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, just a holidays place, nothing yeah. else. So you feel uh, you feel accepted here, and uh, yeah, yeah. I think uh, the school helped me a lot because I immediately was in a rush, so that was yeah, nice. <laughs> okay, yeah, that was nice seeing you, and I hope to see you soon. Yeah, I hope to see you soon again. Bye. <laughs>
So here you see what kind of artists from uh, from Croatia, from Serbia, from Ukraine. Uh, fr uh, from uh, Israel uh, and uh, from Holland. Okay. Um, we use this opportunity to ask you something. Like we heard recently, they have some you have some financial problems and some ongoing uh, ongoing uh, songs and so forth with the Hemente. Can you tell us a little bit about that? No, that is there is no problem. The point is that you always. Uh, there are no no pro any problems caused by by anything. It's only that you always would like to have more money. That's all. Do you get in the end enough money supporting your organization? It's never enough, but uh, Hemente was this year pretty uh, generous, and we hope that Hemente will continue the next year too. And that's also one of the things why we expose ourselves, because Hemente has all rights to give you money for the activities which the activities. exactly because then you show to the public to especially to Dutch public that refugees are integrating participating and pretty strongly in the, their own society so it's very very important how much money do you need a year to support your business you know it is still very difficult for me to say because all these years the money was coming literally from me from my friends you know it was never really serious bookkeeping organization. It is, if it should be well done, normally paid, you know, when many people do things for nothing, it should be between 50,000 and 100,000 guilders because we do have so many activities. Nivis, thanks a lot. Thank you. Do you have another difficult question for me? I have a difficult question. Why, why don't you live in Croatia? Yes, very painful question because I ask myself that every day. Why you don't live there? It's a beautiful country. For me, the most beautiful country that I know. And I live here too long. I'm here already 16 years. And whenever I'm there, I'm happy like a little pig. But I'm also aware that it may be the reason that I'm so happy that everything is so beautiful because I'm not there. Knowing myself, if I would be there, I would be fighting that, that system there. You would have to be somehow involved politically there. I'm always in, involved politically and that's probably what makes such a big pain when I'm in Holland. I mean, I'm fighting the state constantly.